Hi guys, Sia Rachana Ranade here and I welcome you all to today's lecture on Franklin Templeton's mutual fund schemes and I'm sure you might have heard about this that something went wrong. You might have heard about this news just 3-4 days ago. So today we are going to try and just uh, you know dissect it as to what happened, what exactly went wrong, what is the way forward for it, is the money of investors really stuck in or not. So all these questions we are going to answer in this video today. So let's understand one by one what is Franklin Templeton Mutual Fund. So it's it's an American based company. Franklin Templeton is an American based company and which handles approximately 698 billion dollars funds. Okay. Now please understand for a fact what has closed down. Its schemes have closed down. The fund has not closed down. Is there a difference between mutual fund and its schemes? Yes. So what happens? Assume that I am Franklin Templeton Mutual Fund. Okay. So me as a fund, I float different different schemes. Now, just to give you an example, total six schemes were closed. So it's something like this. Franklin Templeton has six different products. Okay, I hope you are understanding this. So it's something like this. I'm a shopkeeper and I have, I sell biscuits. I sell, uh, okay, in biscuits also, I sell cream biscuits. I sell salted biscuits. Okay, I sell uh, biscuits which are low fat biscuits, whatever. So similarly, a company now sells, instead of a company selling different types of biscuits, now it is selling different types of schemes. Okay, now what is in common? Common thing is that all are debt schemes. Okay, but they are still different. Like finally what they are selling biscuits, but biscuits may be the types. Right? Similarly, in debt funds, they are selling what different types of debt funds. So coming back to our discussion, mutual fund, Franklin Templeton mutual fund has different products, has different schemes in which people are invested. Now question is, did the fund itself close? No, what has closed? Schemes have closed. Their products have closed. Have all the schemes closed? No, only six out of their total different different schemes only six have closed which were these six debt funds let's understand the very first one was franklin india low duration fund which has an asset under management of 2373 crore rupees second one is franklin india dynamic accrual fund having an aum asset under management of 3119 crore rupees third one was franklin india credit risk fund fourth one being franklin india short term income plan fund fifth one being franklin india ultra short bond fund and last one was Franklin India income opportunities fund. They all had different assets under management and all these six schemes which I mentioned right now were closed by Franklin. Now the question is that is it really allowed that a mutual fund just shuts down its schemes? Is there any regulation which which mentions that when is a, a fund house allowed to close any of its scheme? So for that, I was when I was trying to search, I found that a fund is allowed to close down its scheme, then they'll have to refer to regulation number 39-2A of SEBI Mutual Fund Regulations 1996. Oh my God. So it's good that whenever any mutual fund has to close down its operations or they have to close down a specific scheme, are there any rules and regulations? Answer is yes. Now, which is the regulation? The one which I told you right now, 39.2A of SEBI Mutual Fund Regulation 1996. I know it can be a little bit uh, overwhelming, but don't worry. It's very simple. What is written inside that is easy and important. When can a specific scheme be closed? It can, a, a, a fund house is allowed to close a scheme on happening of any event, which in the opinion of the trustees requires the scheme to be wound up. Now, what does this mean in simple words? In simple words, it means that if the trustees of the mutual fund, okay, like who are trustees now? Like in case of a company, who is most important? Board of directors. So in case of mutual fund, who is most important? Mutual fund doesn't have board of directors. Companies have board of directors. Mutual fund has trustees, okay? So trustees take a decision on behalf of mutual fund. Now, what decision can they take? If they feel that something is going wrong or something may go wrong, then in that case, they can take a decision of shutting down a specific scheme and who allows them to do so, uh, who allows them to do so, who gives them the permission to do so. That's what I told you right now, SEBI Mutual Fund Regulations 1996. They allow the trustees to take such a decision. Okay. Now the next question, what were the reasons of winding up? Franklin Templeton issued a letter to their investors and uh, me and my team found out this letter wherein they have very clearly mentioned what were the reasons why they wound up. I'm just quickly reading it out for you. 
it says that we have closed these six schemes mainly due to two reasons okay i'm reading out whatever is given in the investors notice which was issued by the trustees of uh, franklin templeton mutual fund number one reason they said is the market sentiment due to this covid 19 pandemic situation all markets in the world are in a panic and that is why the bond market is also in a panic and all businesses are stopped for some time so i'm sure everyone knows that there's a lockdown because of which there are many businesses which are closed now problem is that when majority of the business are closed maybe for a specific time frame but then what happens whenever there are companies which have a high debt they have a high fixed cost then it becomes very difficult for them to uh, you know cope up with the existing mechanism so they say that because of the overall market sentiment everyone has seen how our stock market has reacted everyone has seen what happened with oil no one had thought that oil would would see such a big big crash in such a short span of time now why oil cr price crashed same reason again there is a lot of supply but very less demand okay so overall may it be oil as an asset class may it be shares as an asset class may it be bonds as an asset class everyone is facing a tough time because of covid 19 so the first thing they say is that market sentiment overall was negative and that is why we thought that it's we have to take some severe step second one is a very important point i feel so which is large redemptions now what is this due to panic situations investors started redemption of their money and because of fewer cash reserves left in franklin we had to start paying out of our available cash balance i'll just quickly uh, instead of reading this out i thought i'll just explain this to you what what happens in this case so imagine this that i have uh, i have all my investors who who go in a panic situation or a pop covid 19 hai, businesses are going to come to a standstill for some time but yes they are going to come to a standstill will they be able to repay their debts will we get back our money that's that's some kind of panic which is there in the investors so what the investors do is that they try to redeem their funds okay they try try to redeem their mutual fund units so going back to our discussion who was i i was franklin templeton mutual fund now you all are my investors you all had invested in my fund and i had in turn invested in different different companies debt schemes now what happened you started coming to me and you started saying franklin templeton give back our money give back give back our funds we want to sell our mutual funds now from where will i give you money because whatever money you had given to me i have invested in the debt funds of different different companies in the debt schemes of different different companies so i have no choice but to give you money out of my own cash reserves okay whatever money i have i'll have to give that to you now whenever there are fewer number of people who are coming for redemption still i can manage with my existing cash and bank balance but if more and more people start coming in that we also want want back our money we also want back our money i will have limited cash at one point of time i will run out of cash i will have to sell a few of these schemes or i will have to keep these uh, investments as a charge to take a loan from the bank so understand this if you have not understood this last part possibility number 1 was what i pay out of my own funds i pay out of my own cash simple point number 1 point number 2 kya hota hai point number 2 is whatever money i have invested in these debt schemes i will also sell off take the money and pay it back to you but where is the problem here problem is that if i want to sell off these debt funds to someone else and there is no one to buy then what i have no other choice third choice is left with me is that these debt funds these investments in debentures i go to the bank i tell bank that bank i want a loan bank says what will you give as a security i say bank take take this debt instruments as security but give me loan against that so has bank given me loan yes what will i do with this loan i'll take bank i'll take a bank loan I'll, and i'll be paid to you all the investors but what is the problem here problem is that if this is still limited agreed accepted i have kept these this, these debentures these debt funds with the bank i took a loan against them i repaid it to you so all the good debentures are with the bank now what happens still redemption does not stop still there are more and more investors who are coming to me more and more redemptions are taking place now what has happened my cash reserves anyways have gone second i am not able to sell my investments in the market third all the good uh, debentures or debt schemes which i had i have already kept it as a loan with the bank now whatever i have is little bit less rated debentures that i have with me right now so bank also might not be comfortable to give me loan against that now what happens in this entire scenario you understand who got benefited who got benefited those who panicked got benefited or those who stayed with franklin templeton got benefited think think those who panicked got benefited in this 
and reason is how those who got panic panic they sold off and me as franklin templeton mutual fund i paid off the money to you correct and those who said no no there's no reason for panic it's a good it's it's a big name we will stay with the company for them what happened for them this has happened that franklin templeton mutual fund right now said that because people are doing a lot and lot of redemption we have no choice but temporarily we are going to close down the schemes now what will happen with this what about those people who who kept faith and stayed back with the organization problem is that right now there will be no fresh sale of any other units of mutual fund but right now there will be no redemption also okay what do we mean by no redemption now if you come to me as franklin templeton mutual fund and if you say we want our money back i will say no right now the fund is closed now the question in your mind is that what what will happen or when will i get my money back is a question in your mind now when will you get your money back simple is that whenever the funds in which i had invested when they get matured then you will get back your money means what i'll give you a simple reason a uh, simple example you had invested money in me okay i invested in debentures of a company debentures which have a maturity period of 5 years okay i hope you know this all debentures bonds commercial papers all they have a fixed maturity like a fixed deposit okay so if i had invested in an instrument which has a fixed maturity of let us say 1 year i will get the money after 1 year and one once i get the money after 1 year i will pass this on pass this money to you okay now with that question remains is that will i be charging anything when i pay off to you there is something known as management charges now fund has at least said this is one good point you may say that fund has declared this that we will not be charging any management fees to the investors that is the only good news because generally what the entity does is that they charge 1% 1.5% whatever they charge as management fees and then they give the balance so this management fees will be waived off they'll charge a very small nominal amount as administration charges otherwise they are going to repay it off to the investors okay uh, one more very important thing is that they are also going to post on the navs net asset values they are going to keep on posting their navs at regular intervals so all the investors also come to know as to what will be the position of their portfolio okay now one last question i feel which you must know is that where was franklin templeton investing so franklin was famous for investing in comparatively low rated bonds why was it so popular question is why was franklin templeton so much popular among um, among his investors the reason was that they used to invest in low rated bonds now what do we mean by low rated bonds they are not very safe they are not very secure rating is like double a or triple a minus or double a minus so these are comparatively what risky yes they are comparatively risky but franklin till date was able to manage this scenario very well they were investing in risky assets and there is a thumb rule of financial management high risk high potential return so because franklin was taking a high risk they got this opportunity to earn more interest more they earned more they were passing on to investors that is why investors were also very happy but with this covid 19 thing when these companies which were comparatively risky companies in which they had invested they started going down their their position financial position started going down it started creating an impact question last question which remains is that where was their investment in which companies debt had uh, franklin templeton invested listen to the names these are not the only names okay but few of the names because of which problems started was ilfs was vodafone idea was yes bank so question had they invested in shares of these companies yes or no type it out had franklin templeton mutual fund invested in shares of these companies yes or no answer is no they had invested in the debt of these companies so assume these companies had raised debench, uh, money through by way of debentures assume that these companies had raised money by way of a corporate bond that is where franklin templeton had invested but finally if a company goes from a good financial position to a bad financial position not only equity even debt is going to face a big 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 problem i hope you have understood what happened with franklin templeton mutual fund i tried to answer a lot of questions to quickly wrap it up we first talked about what is frank who is franklin templeton what is a debt fund then we talked about which schemes closed we talked talked about what was the reason of winding up which was given by the management we talked about the last point as to what next will the investors get back their money or not very nice and yes they'll get back the money when management get its own money and the last point i talked about was why did this all happen because franklin had invested comparatively a big chunk of their money in companies like 
whatever i told you right now okay i hope you have understood this entire uh, scenario of what happened with franklin debbelton do let me know in the comment section if you want me to make more and more videos about such uh, current happenings in the market okay well i hope that's it from my side uh, and i hope you are coming to my live streams at 6 am i am sure you know about it 6 am we do a live stream every single morning wherein we talk about uh, developing good habits like reading meditation uh, checklists a lot a lot and it's fun interacting with so many people early morning so try and get up early try and develop good habits try and bring in the better version out of yourself so i'll see you tomorrow at 6 am that's it from my side for the day jai hind